Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Gavin, aka Coke, aka Mr. Thankful, Grateful, whatever you want to call it. Call me up today. Um, shout out to everybody that's on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. If you're watching this, if you have subscribed, if you've liked the video, if you left a comment, yo, God gonna bless you. Please keep that in mind. Um, shout out to the gang. Everybody that's in the No More Pie by Gavin B Facebook group. Um, you guys are the real MVP. I really love seeing everybody post uh, last week one thing to help elevate their photography business because I've been getting DMs from other photographers that's not in the group who actually saw it on Instagram and other photographers that's in the group who are not like constant posters saying, hey, yo, I love that thread. I, I'm taking some of that stuff home right now. Um, like somebody said, they, they give every client a small gift. I thought that was brilliant, right? Because client gifts really create a relationship that can go years and years after you do one session with them. So um, shout out to everybody that's there. This video, however, is dedicated to everybody that has purchased a Exposure Don't Pay No Bills t-shirt. Thank you. I sold out in 24 hours, y'all, and I had to do pre-orders, and I'm 70% through all of those pre-orders right now. They're coming in today. Um, it's March 11th, so I'm gonna be shipping out at the end of this week. But it's just cool to see like the response because I really made this T-shirt for musicians, artists, makeup artists, photographers, models, it, you know, any entrepreneur, any small business owner. I've just been blown away from the love and support there. Even you, Jam Laws, who haven't came and picked up his shirt yet, but sent his money, so I'm appreciative. Um, so, and if you want to, it's a link down low. And maybe if I edit this and I'm not lazy, it's a picture of the shirt right here somehow. But it's a link down low. Pre-order your shirt today or order your shirt. They're on sale right now. Uh, probably a week after this video drops, they probably won't be on sale anymore. But they'll still be there. And I don't like to charge crazy prices for t-shirts. That's annoying. So anyway, check it out. Let me know what y'all think. All right. So a few weeks ago, I had this crazy video where I was on Instagram answering questions, right? And I had so many photographers reach back out to me and say, hey, can we talk about pricing a little bit more? And that inspired this video simply because after the third time me answering the same question, I was like, all right, I'm done. Let's get it all done, right? So with pricing for me, it's very interesting because everybody has an opinion. Models who don't pay full price have an opinion. Um, people who pay full price have an opinion clients that would never book you so they're not even clients having opinions photographers who hate on you have an opinion on your pricing and it's super annoying but it's one of those things where you have to learn to appreciate your own pricing and be comfortable with your own prices and live just live in within yourself so but before we get started let's talk about some mistakes i see photographers make with their pricing number one thing too many options that gets on my nerves that's the most visible thing i hate um and i know Clients hate it when they go look at photographers' work, and it's a whole menu. It's like a, a restaurant menu where they have the appetizers, the main courses, the sides, your drinks is right here, cocktails is on the other side, some French words that we can't pronounce. Bruh, if you got too many options on your photography menu, nobody is probably booking you right now because, and the reason why they're too confused. Another reason why they're probably not booking you, which is another mistake I noticed, is that so many photographers that have that huge menu they can't remember. So when Jalen Rose comes to you and say, hey, I want to book you for a photo shoot. And they say, hey, um, Jalen, him being a man, he said, hey, I want a branding shoot. Um, I'm going to bring my wife, Molly, with me. So I'm going to need a barber, makeup artist. I'm going to need uh, two extra outfits. I'm going to need 20 extra prints. How much is that going to cost me right now? You're looking and you're saying, oh, shoot, let me pull out this McDonald's menu. Um with my a la carte options and let me see what's up what's up and Jalen Rose is like you know what I'm a I'm a just gonna work with Gavin that's what usually happens so keep that in mind um another thing I always notice is photographers who always run sales if you're always running a sale you can't be upset that nobody ever wants to book you at full price I've said this before clients and models talk so please keep that in mind people know if you're the free photographer or the discounted rate photographer the biggest thing, please, if you take nothing away from this video, please take this away. If your photography does not provide value to your client, you will not be taking pictures by my 30th video, whenever they may come, right? You won't be doing this in six months. You won't be doing this in a year. You won't be doing this in five years if you cannot provide value. 
I don't know what your value is. I know what mine is, but you need to find yours today. It's March 11th. Please find the value that you offer to your clients because it will take you take you further and much greater. So keep that in mind. Um, all right. So <laughs> when it comes to pricing, I always have photographers. They come up to me to ask me about pricing and I give them the vaguest answer I can think of. And when I get done with that, they're saying they're looking at me with this kind of look and I'm like, it was pretty vague, right? And they're like, yeah. And I say, that's because my pricing is for me. It's not for you. And they, I look at them, I say, well, what's your ideal client? And you'll be surprised how many photographers don't know that. Also, you won't be lasting long if you do not know your ideal client. You should keep that. That is just a business tip. That's not even a photographer tip. Please know your ideal client. So right now, you should already know what markets you're willing to travel to and work out of. And you should know your ideal client in each one of those markets. Right now, I'm willing to go to Raleigh. I'm willing to go to Greensboro. Shout out to all the Aggies out there. I'm willing to go to Columbia, South Carolina. Shout out to all my Gamecocks. And I know photographers in each one of those markets outside of me being born and raised and living in Charlotte, North Carolina. Shout out to the Queen City. Um, I know photographers in each one of those different markets. And I kind of know their price range. The reason why I know their price range is because I don't want to be overpriced, below underpriced, right? I kind of want to be in that margin. But I also want to make sure that my value, if I'm going to be outside of those margins, my value needs to be um, on par. So the biggest thing for new photographers is figuring out photographers that's in their competition level that's um, that share the same skill set. So please keep that in mind. Please, if you need help, ask your friends and family. Say, hey, can, do you think our skill level and our shooting level matches up? But you need somebody honest. Um, the next thing when it comes to your pricing is knowing your expenses to shoot in various markets. Um, for me, it cost me a couple of dollars to get downtown in Charlotte to shoot, right? Columbia is $25 in gas. Um, Raleigh, probably about the same thing. Greensboro, the same thing. Absolutely. Um, if I'm willing to go to Atlanta or Charleston, I might spend a night. So I need to keep that in mind. Also, in all of my prices, I have a couple of dollars that I set aside to pay my overhead costs, right? So whether that's my gallery, my website, my license at the end of the year, or whatever that case may be. So please keep that in mind also, too. Um, if you're brand new to this and you're like, I just don't know where to start, figure out how long it takes you to do any shoot, right? From finding a client to delivering the product. Take that hourly, those hours, put it to the side, then take your current uh, salary or whatever your wage is right now and times it by those hours and start there with your photo shoot. So right now, if you're making $20 an hour, but it takes you five hours to do any type of photo shoot. Say, hey, this is my new price. This is where I'm starting at. That way, once um, we start talking about you, we're going to talk about being comfortable. That way you are cool with doing photo shoots because it's what you currently make right now. So you're not going to be upset or be like, I don't want to do this. So keep that in mind. Um, so let's talk about being comfortable. Please make sure your pricing makes you happy. I have, let me, let's just be transparent. I've done shoots where I'm not happy. I don't want to be there. And it's because I wasn't making enough, right? Um, I didn't want to shoot. I didn't want to edit. I didn't want to deliver the pictures. And it's because I was unhappy with pricing. So please uh, create pricing that makes you happy, that makes you comfortable, that makes you want to go deliver work. One thing I always say, and let's just get to the nitty gritty. This is the part that you've been waiting for. In each one of my packages, I have three different types of shoots you can do with me. Uh, portraits, families, and weddings. Each one of those pack, each one of those sections, I only offer three um, types of shoots under each under under each section. So I only have nine types of packages you can get, right? So I have a uh, low, mid, and high level in pr pricing. Um, however, the mid level is the pricing I want all of my clients to pick, right? It's easier for me with delivery. The expenses probably are the lowest or lower um, with the, you know, so I look at it like that. And then also what I do with all my low level pricing is I make it so close to the mid level that people decide not to shoot with the mid level. Also with the high level, which gives my clients so much, I kind of make that price super high. So people are discouraged kind of to book it. Now, however, I've had a couple of clients. Um, let's let's be real. I have let's talk about my portraits, right? Uh, my head side session is one outfit, 20 minutes, three edits. My mid-level is one location, two outfits, seven edits. 
And my third level is actually um, the high level, which is two locations, three outfits. I think it's 15 edits, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I've actually, out of since I've done my pricing that way, I've only had one person to do the high level pricing. And it was just something they wanted. They didn't care. They was like, hey, I got it. Let's do it. Everybody else pretty much just goes straight with my second level because the high levels, the pricing is just too high or higher, way higher. Um, and my headshot session is too quick. 20 minutes, you'll be in and out. But they're looking at it like, hey, I can get two outfits in. I can do the same one location thing. Uh, the pricing is not that much different. And they're willing to do it, which makes me extremely happy. So try to try to three-tier pricing. It's beautiful. Trust me on that. Finally, one thing I will always say is make adjustments. You should not be charging... $50 for the rest of your life for photos. You should not be charging $200 for the rest of your life for photos. Once you start noticing um, it's time, go ahead and make adjustments. So how do you know when it's time? When you start getting burnt out. Um, there was a point probably about two years ago. Um, my social media was growing. I was doing more quantity over quality work. And I was everywhere. Um, I would get off work at 5 sometimes 4 30 i would have a shoot 30 minutes after i got off of work and i would do three shoots before it got dark so i can get home of course this is over summer um the problem with that was i wasn't spending time with my family aka my wife um i would get done with my 30 shoots for the week on sunday and be like all right i'm done i'm caught up or i would come home and get straight to work so i can stay on top of things and the next week i just get bombarded with so many more shoots while it was cool to see my work all over instagram i was tired um, so what I did was I bumped my work up $50 more. I lost a lot of clients and somebody saying $50 ain't much. Yeah, whatever. People was cheap. I had the wrong clients, right? Um, I lost a lot of clients. However, I was able to focus more now on quality like I do now. So like this week, I've only, I'm only doing one shoot this whole week. However, I'm getting paid a lot more. It's going to be quick for me and I'm super happy. And so I just knew it was time. So I waited to, you know, I'm getting, once I start getting more bombarded with work, I'm going to up my prices some more, keep it moving. So think about that. Also, don't be afraid to offer discounts, but you need to know when. Um, I offer discounts on many sessions. I run many session uh, weekdays or Sundays. Some, this my uh, running one actually this Sunday. And it's a mini session and it's quick. Um, I always offer discounts when I go out of town just because sometimes I just want to shoot out of town. It's not necessarily like, oh, I need to. It's one of those things where, hey, I'm on vacation or vacation and I'm like, yo, let's go shoot. And I meet people I shoot. I don't charge them full price just because, hey, um, I don't know them. I don't know the lay of the land. So I'm kind of just banking on them and just showing there, um, showing that I shoot out here. So it's cool there. Also, I know when I know when and who I don't shoot. So. <laughs> I only got three weddings I got to go to. After this, these past three, next three weddings, I'm not going to nobody else's wedding. Um, if I have another, you know, shoot on that day or a wedding, so to speak. Um, I don't shoot friends and family weddings anymore. It's just one of those things you have to get out there and learn. And sometimes um, we all know the saying that sometimes if you give people a discount, especially if they're friends and family, um, while you might feel good about it, sometimes people don't appreciate it. You have to know by a case on case basis. But keep that in mind. Um and like I said, you can always raise prices there. So anyway, let me know what y'all think about this video. Drop some comments below about what you think about pricing. Let me know if you think that the, the three-tier pricing works for you or doesn't work for you. Um, if you hate that I was killing a whole a la carte and the whole, you know, McDonald's menu of photography, let me know why. Let me know what it works. Also, I'm going to send a link to my packages so, so you can kind of see my pricing in Charlotte. Um, like I said, it's a lot of photographers. I'm not the best photographer in Charlotte. I'm not the worst by any means. So it's a lot of photographers that have different price in there, which I respect. Um, but you can kind of see there. And shout out to all the photographers, man. I'm going to holler at y'all next time.